Hi. If you need to measure mass flow of bulk solid materials, particulate or powders, in free fall sections or in pneumatic transport, I have something for you. My name is Thiago Moraes and today let's talk about solid flow. This small sensor probably can solve your problem. The sensor here can be installed in vertical or horizontal lines. In vertical lines, we can use in free fall sections or upstream with pneumatic transport. In horizontal lines, only in pneumatic transport. Solid flow doesn't work well with uh, a material bed in the pipeline. The material should be very well dispersed in front of the sensor. When we have powder and very uh, dispersed material in front of the sensor, we get a good measurement. And the measurement works with the sensor creating the microwave field and measuring the material frequency passing by the sensor. When we have more material flow, we get more mass flow. When we have less frequency, we have less mass flow. In applications such as fuel injection lines, for example, for coal powder, mixing systems, when you want to achieve the right amount of material to get the right recipe and also uh, material quantity, quantity balancing. When you want to fill the silo or when you want to measure how much of material are you losing, this is quite useful. This sensor can measure mass flow rates up to 20 tons per hour. But even applications with kilograms per hour, I mean under one ton per hour, the sensor even can measure. For example, in food applications, measuring spice, the right amount of spice in chips or in applications in cement plants, measuring raw meal. This is a very versatile sensor. Normally, the sensor comes with a standard welding socket. Depending on the material, we can use different adapters to get different results. For example, using Teflon cap, we can avoid materials stucking, clogging in front of the sensor. Using a ceramic adapter, we can isolate the sensor from the process. Then we can reach applications with higher temperature and higher pressure. In applications with pneumatic transport, you can remove the sensor and keep the application sealed because the ceramic piece will be always there. Solid flow installation requires a very small inlet section. We recommend 300 millimeters from the falling point to the sensor level. In this section, we expect the material to be a little bit more dispersed to get a right measurement. And the complete solid flow system is based on the weld-on socket, sensor, C1 box, and evaluation unit. Let's see a little bit how solid flow works. In this application's example, we have a small hopper with plastic pellets and a small screw feeder, moving the particles from the hopper to the free fall section. Falls into this pipeline and then solid flow can read the material. This is just a small example about how this solid flow works. The installation procedures are very simple to do, very easy, and you can get a reliable measurement with this sensor. If you're looking for mass flow measurement in a pipeline, free fall section, or pneumatic transport, you can do it with solid flow. Particle size up to one centimeter, and mass flow up to 20 tons per hour. Do you want to learn more? I will leave right after this video information about this product. And if your application requires a higher mass flow, we have another option, max flow. But we're going to talk about max flow in another moment. So far, thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for more innovations in solids measurement. Ciao, ciao.